looking at that and you guys have probably seen the stamparatus you've heard me talk about it i got mine a while ago um and here it is in all of its glory so it does come with two um, hinged plates. I only have one because I only need one right now. I'm only doing one stamp, but the hinged plates can go on either side. We're going to go ahead and have it be like so for the project today. I do have two magnets. I have one on the front here and I have one on the back. I highly recommend only using one at a time if you can. Some projects would require you to use both. Most projects you can get away with one magnet. Uh, the reason being is you do not want to let these things touch or smash together because they are very brittle and they will break. They're super strong, but um, on the other side of being super strong, they are very delicate. So be very careful with them. I've wrapped mine with some washi tape and then left a little handle so it's easy to pick up because like I said, they are super strong. Now, I'm going to be using a photopolymer stamp set today, uh, the Cool Treats stamp set. And because it's photopolymer, I find I get a little bit better impression if I add another pad. So the Stamparatus comes with this foam piece that you put in there for photopolymer stamps. But I also use a silicone mat. I just feel like I get a little bit better impression. And, you know, what are you going to do? That's the way I want to do it. That's the way I'm going to do it. Okay. So I've got a piece of white cardstock here. This measures four by five and a quarter. I'm just going to put that up in the corner there, put my magnet down to keep it in place. And then my stamp here it says happiest birthday. And I'm just going to place it on my paper so that it is pretty close to the top of the paper, but also straight. Okay. Then I'm going to bring my plate over here and pick that up. And now photopolymers do like to stick sometimes, so I'll just go ahead and do that. And you can see my stamp is a little dirty, so I'm going to have to clean that. I thought I cleaned it. Apparently I did not clean it very well. So I've got my little absorber cloth here. And this is just something I picked up at Walmart in the automotive section. Trimmed off, um, cut it in a few different pieces so I could use a bunch of them. So I'm going to actually flip this over because I don't want that to be pink. Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna use some Lemon Lime Twist ink as well as some Pool Party ink. So we're gonna start with the Pool Party ink and I'm just gonna lightly tap it onto my stamp, getting it fully covered. And I've got my paper where I want it to be. I'm just gonna bring my stamp over and then I'm just gonna press it onto my paper. And again, photopolymers tend to stick sometimes, but I've got it up in the corner so I can just reposition that very easily. All right, bringing in my absorber cloth, I'm gonna wipe off. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. Dry it off. Because what I'm gonna do is something called hinge stamping and Stampin' Up's come up with this. So I'm gonna move my plate. Normally you would move it one hinge down and stamp again, but I'm gonna kind of, um, rotate the color. So I'm going to do the pool party, then the lemon lime twist, pool party, lemon lime, pool party. So I'm going to actually move mine down two spots and I'm going to ink it up with the uh, pool party ink once again. All right. Let's see if we can get that all inky. And I'm in the third hinge down and I'm just going to press all over, hold on to my paper and release that. Now I'm gonna skip one and go to the next one, ink it up again with my pool party. And now you could just change colors each time if you wanted to, but I don't wanna do that. That seems like more work and I'm kind of a lazy stamper, so there you go. Okay, now I'm gonna clean it off. So I'll bring my little absorber cloth in here and wipe off um, any ink that's on there. Let that dry off a sec while we change colors. So now we're going to bring in the Lemon Lime Twist. And we're going to start up here. Remember, we started with it at the top hinge. Now we're going to move it down one. And we're going to stamp with Lemon Lime Twist. So we're going to get that all inked up. Am I getting that Y there? Press that into place. Hold the paper to release it. And now we're going to come down one more would be where the pool party is. So we're doing a second hinge step and we're going to ink it up again in the lemon lime twist. And we're going to press that down. 
You know, Julie, I don't have anything on my cloth. It's just water. I've just rinsed it under the sink numerous times, and it's filthy because it's taken off a lot of ink, but I have nothing on it. Occasionally, if I feel like it's gotten really dirty, I might use just some hand soap, a little bit of hand soap to kind of get some of that excess ink out of the cloth, but other than that, I do not. Okay, so we've got the stamp around it's all cleaned off. So that's just one thing you can do with the tool. So cool. Uh, we call that hinge stamping. So I'm going to remove my cardstock here, leave that, put this back together, and get rid of that for the moment. All right, so we're also going to use some Melon Mambo on this card because I just thought uh, Melon Mambo would be kind of a fun combination to use with these other colors since we're going for some bright, summery, springiness since it's so blech outside right now. And I need some scrap paper. And I just got this tiny little um, confetti piece that comes in the stamp set. And so I'm just going to add some random um, confettis using the Melon Mambo. Isn't that fun? Mm. Maybe a couple over on the edges and up at the top there. And you can still use your absorber to clean that off if you want. I'm going to since it's sitting right here with me. Okay. So that's kind of done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the framelits here, the Frozen Treats Framelits dies. And I don't actually have a piece in here. This is an older stamps or an older die set. Um, I have, I've got a list of things to do, and this is one of them, is to get all of my uh, framelits with those little kind of identification cards in there. So anyway, I don't have this one done. But we're going to use this um, kind of ice cream, soft serve ice cream die, and the bowl and the spoon. And the dish ran away with the spoon that just somehow came to my mind. Okay, old mother goose. All right. And maybe if I think it might work, we might use this decorative edge punch on some lemon lime twist. We'll have to see what, I, what I'm feeling. Okay, so I did die cut some of these pieces already because like I said, sometimes it's boring for you guys. Our main card base is gonna be the melon mambo. So we're gonna end up uh, layering it on that. I have the bowl here because last year when we first got the dies, I went nutso and I cropped out <laughs> lots and lots of different of different shapes out of a bunch of different colors. So I have a whole package here full of die cut pieces. And so I used my bowl and my spoon came out of that uh, pre-cut uh, package there. So I don't actually need these. Then I did go ahead and do uh, some die cutting. I cut um, some lemon lime twist pieces, the melon mambo and the pool party. And then I did stamp on these four here. Those were in case I made a mistake. So I made four, you know how it is. Sometimes you screw up. Oh, you hate it to happen, but yet yeah, there it is. Okay. So I need my silicone mat back. Here we go. All right. So I am going to ink up, or no, I don't need my silicone mat. I need my foam pad. Where is it? It was literally right there. Literally. Now where is it? Oh, found it. Okay. Here's my foam mat and then my beautiful, beautiful piece of cardstock that you guys are probably going, oh my gosh, that's just hideous. I know, but it works great. Because uh, I don't want to actually get ink on my mat. So sometimes if I'm over stamping, I, um, well, I don't want to get ink on my mat. So I use this beautiful piece of cardstock. All right. So we're going to ink up the ice cream piece here. And we're going to try to eyeball this. See, that's why I cut two, because I thought, well, if I screw this up, I'll have another one. And actually, that worked out pretty dang good, so I don't even need to do another one. So here's our three colors of ice cream. I know my daughter would love to have ice cream these colors. All right, now we don't need the film mat anymore. Don't need the absorber. Don't need that and that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of build an ice cream sundae with these colors. And I'm going to start by adding a little bit of glue to the back of my bowl. And we'll start with the Melon Mambo ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit to the side of that. And now we're gonna pick up our pool party, but I'm gonna have this be a little shorter. 
then the melon mambo, and then I'm just going to trim that off. And then the lemon lime twist is going to go behind both of those. Okay. And we'll add our lemon lime twist ice cream. Okay. And then I can just, like I said, snip this little piece off like so. All right, then we have a spoon. Where are we gonna put the spoon? The spoon was kind of an afterthought. I think I might just try to shove it down in there like so. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of glue on the edge of the spoon there. And we'll just lift up that ice cream and we'll put our spoon in like that. Okay, that turned out pretty good, yay! And then to decorate the bowl, I have a bit of our lemon lime twist ombre ribbon and I just tied a tiny little piece in a knot. And I'm gonna use a rolled glue dot. Get myself a rolled glue dot on the back of that to decorate the bowl. I thought, oh, maybe down here at the bottom of the bowl, just to kind of keep with the theme of the colors because they're so fun and pretty. And then I'm gonna put the bowl on here. And now I can't decide. Let me try this first, you guys. This, I, I made this card yesterday, but then I was like, you know, maybe if I added a bit of fun, like with this decorative label punch, that might work. So let's try. Okay, so I've got the decorative label punch here. I've got a piece of lemon lime twist cardstock, and I'm just going to start my punch. Okay, so then I'm just going to follow this. I'm going to bring this, slide it out of the punch, and line it up on the little grid here where I can see when the uh, silver pieces come through, keeping it butted up against the back. Mm, is it that one, I think so, and we'll do it again. And maybe one more time and we'll see what happens. Mm, yeah, that one. Okay, because I was thinking Maybe we could stick this. This is way too long. That's fine. Better than being too short, right? I wasn't sure if maybe I could somehow put that on the edge. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that, is that too much lemon lime twist? Does it clash with my melon mambo? So if I did that, I mean, obviously I would cut this edge off. What do we think? I'm letting you guys decide. So somebody somebody say something and let me know if you think I should do it or not. Or maybe I'll just do it and then if it stinks, we'll change our mind. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try. I'm gonna cut like, I don't know, three eighths of an inch off the edge of this piece. Get to my paper trimmer here. And we'll try this. Okay, Lisa and Julie and Jean all said yay, so we're gonna go for it. Okay, so, all right, let's try this. We'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks good because someone's going to win the card, right? All right, so we'll just add a slight bit of glue down this edge here. I am going to bring my silicone mat back in because when I'm working with glue sometimes, I don't want to get glue everywhere. So if I bring in my silicone mat, then it doesn't make such a mess. I just get glue on the silicone mat. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of lining up the edge of the cardstock with this small little circle that the punch does. And that way I'm hoping it'll be, you know, fairly um, even. All right, so we're going to snip off that excess. Ah, that one was a little close. And then I think it should fit. Yes, yay! Okay. So now we'll just add some glue to the back of that. Put that on the card base, like so. Oh, Wendy, that's too funny. I could have, maybe I should have, I don't know. Maybe I'll make another one and we'll try it. And then my little bowl of ice cream. Oh, you know what? I cut off some of my um, confettis. So we're gonna have to go back in and add a confetti if I can find the confetti, here it is. All right, but I'm afraid, I don't wanna get confetti on my Melon Mambo cardstock. So here's a cheat, here's a tip for you guys. If you screw up and you wanna add something to the edge of a card, you can usually slide a piece of copy paper underneath that, and then you can just come in with my little confetti 
And even if I go off the edge, it's not going to get onto my hard base. So there's another tip for you. Okay, and then I think we'll just put the ice cream bowl with our beautiful ice cream colors right there. Oh, oh, good Lord. Sometimes these dimensionals, they just come off in mass quantities. I don't need that many. I think three is probably plenty. This ice cream bowl is not that big. All right. So remember, guys, if you place an order with me, you get the free uh, True Gentleman Designer Series paper. Use my host code right here um, to do that for orders in April. And then I think I'm going to add a couple of these little fun things here. So how about, oh, here's a couple of blue ones right here and some lemon lime twist. Get the glue dot there. Maybe add a couple of those. And then our card will be done. How about like that? It's two enough. Maybe one down here. Uh, there. I guess you can never have too much bling, right? So there it is. There's our th third card. So we've got all three of these cards here today. Very cute. I hope you guys enjoyed my Facebook Live. Please uh, share the video. Like I said, down below the video, you'll find a share button. Also, like my page that you're watching it on, my Stampin' Is My Job business page. And there's, um, you can go up to the top of that and uh, click on the like button. And then you'll be... Um, I think then you can get some notifications to then you'll know when I'm live and that's always helpful then if you see I'm live then you can come check me out. So thank you guys so much for watching.